do for you. Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Yes, what's on your mind? I already told you, he betrayed us all. Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. It's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but that th they didn't come in time. Of course not, how could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. She had courage, and... And she was stubborn. I could never talk her out of anything when she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. Now I had planned on, on leaving soon, to join her. His name was Dustal. And I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's, uh, let's continue with what we were doing. How can I help? I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I am glad you're with us. You're teasing me. You know very well what I said. Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. 
No, I'm not. Why must you make this so difficult for me? Can't you just accept a simple compliment? I see. Is there nothing I can do to make it up to you? I would rather we were friends. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. Yes, well, there's no need for you to agree so wholeheartedly. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself, who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. Please, it's, it's not allowed. I have to remain true to the Jedi ideal. If this is going to cause a problem, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel... I feel much better. But enough soul-searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. Nord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. As you command, Master. so transparent. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, considering our bond. Yes, there is something I would like to ask, if you'll permit it. In our time together, I've been watching you. You are a true servant of the light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order, despite the lure of the dark side. And with so little training, for me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? And that's enough for you. If only it were as easy for me. If only the right path was always clear. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. 
My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. Yes, of course, you're right. I, I have to remember my training. The Masters know well the corrupting influence of the dark side. Although it is hard for me to imagine. The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. yourself a fast little ship. <laughs> I'd forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashyyyk is an uller in mating season. Ugh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? I'm old, damn it. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know... You remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a panther. Oh, very funny. Is it my fault that some people are so easily annoyed? Like impatient little children with blasters. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. No, you wouldn't have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, Ooh, destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, and Coruscant was a small town with a well. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Swirling force, remember? Jedi here. Granted, I was just interpreting the signs, but we get trained in that sort of thing, more or less. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Yeah. Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too, or those could have just been gurgling noises. No, well, anyway. Finally, Grant has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. 
Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Kratten dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? What? Are you kidding? What are the odds of that happening anyway? A billion to one? You should do so well as to be sucked into the engine of some evil Sith Lord, you know. Andor was a hero. Sort of. Anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! Yes. What is it? I... I have been bothered by something of late. I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child? <laughs> I suppose I was trying to deny what I was feeling. I have been wrestling with my feelings inside. Trying to come to terms with it. But I find I cannot. I must have someone to blame. Someone to blame for the destruction of my homeworld. Someone who is responsible for the death of everyone I have ever known, except those on Dantooine. Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Taris, my homeworld. If it were not for you and Bastilla, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there, and your fault for rescuing Bastilla. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist. I know. I suppose I realized that. But it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. Yes. Yes, I suppose it will. As long as we remain focused on our task, it will. I am sorry. I will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences. We should stop for now. Yes. What is it? I was remembering Taris. No, it's all right. I think I am over the worst of it. I apologize again for lashing out at you. It was not your fault. It was a horrible place to have to live. At least in the lower cities where the non-humans tended to get relegated. Living for years in a place with no sun, living off the trash dropped from the upper levels, and the meager pay doing back-breaking labor. There was always the danger of Rakuls coming up from the sewers or more mundane predators living and working in the area. My family and I struggled each and every day to make something of our lives. But we could only go so far. Taxes from the corrupt government, more fees from the gangs controlling the streets, and whatever was left paying for what food and medical supplies we could afford. And of course, there was the constant bigotry and hate from the more affluent and human citizens, lording their wealth over us living below. Every once in a while, a rich human would come down through the lower levels with his droid entourage just to see how the wildlife lived and laughed at the mockeries that were our successes. But I have come to meet many decent humans in my travels since those days. Indeed, some of the greatest people I have ever met are human. The Jedi who encouraged me to join the Order. The one who was with the group going to fight the Mandalorians. She was human. I am sorry. I am getting away from my point. 
if there even was one. Sometimes I curse the day my parents fled to Taras. But then again, if they had not, I would not be where I am today. Another story for another time. For now, we must continue our own epic. To save the galaxy, if we can. through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I turn over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Teresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Teresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. Wise move. I can see you really understand how business works. Now, when you see your chance, you jump at it, huh? That's my motto. I better get started on brewing that ale. Meet me back here later, and I'll have a down payment on what I owe you. Ki Chanwaba chino shangwi chama ucha wish kuyong kun Just kronki to pet slimo Chi itakanki chan na kilikon 
Kim ba muli ra ton aji? Kim ba no ko nik set abog? Kas kroki to pets nemo? Ki ita kanki kan na kilikon? Kim ba muli ra ton aji? Kim ba no ko nik set abog? Damn it, Griff! Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? Kiwa er eita kan ki cha na juper nipo. Kun muli ra slimo poi wanga tong ituama ji human ak un inketune. Ki muli ra kun ki tong hi. Kiwi eita ka tong ji. Yes, what's on your mind? I'm not really sure, but you can figure it out on your own, can't you? Yes, another vision. The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. There are some who believe Korriban is the birthplace of the Sith. This planet is an evil place. There are secrets here best left uncovered. During the vision I felt cold and trapped, almost as if I was buried alive. It felt, it felt like we were in some kind of tomb. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Most of the Dark Jedi would only know me by name, but there are a few among them who might recognize my face. For the safety of our mission, I must remain on the Ebon Hawk while we are on this planet. Yes, what's up? You got it.
Yeah, what do you want? I don't have as many strange stories like the last one I told you, but I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. In one battle above the world of Alf. For five days, they might. Once they had. Things didn't go as I had. While fending off, I turned my. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being. It was a mute. They were shredded by. Warriors do not. Another time. Is there something else? Korriban is a Sith world, that's for sure. I mean, just look at this place. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Affirmative. Request. Negative. Appeasement. Statement. Now close the last panel. Hmm. Supplication. Per As you dis... Nice to see the Hawk still in one piece. Beauty of a ship, that. Ah, I've seen this little ship before plenty of times. Used to make runs for the Exchange, didn't it? Korriban's nice and remote. The kind of place the Exchange likes. I knew we'd run into some of Davik's old associates sooner or later. No matter where you go, somebody's working for the Exchange. You don't need to worry about me saying anything. I don't give a whit what you do with your ship. Smuggling's what the Hawk was made for, though. Oh, nobody special. I just do the routine maintenance work for the ships that come in. I used to see the Hawk here all the time. You sure can. Not much. It's a pretty barren planet, to tell the truth. Not of much interest to anyone. Unless you're a Sith, I guess. They seem to think this place is something special. Probably all them ruins they found on the surface. That's the reason they built their academy here, I guess. To dig all them ruins up. There's people that come here from all over Sith space to try and join the academy. Most of them die, I hear. Pretty gruesome business, that. You don't. Not unless you're a Sith in the academy. They're the only ones allowed on the surface. They pay Zerka to ship things in and out, I guess. But that's all closely monitored. I don't know. There's all kinds of hopefuls in the colony trying to get in. Why don't you ask one of them? A star map? You mean like a navigation chart? If them Sith found a star map in those ruins, nobody's ever mentioned it. You don't. Not unless you're a Sith. Yep, take care now. Chibet <laughs> Moga shampungpa, olawan na chikni. Bamul ne slik mo poda na wanga kun beast muli ra best. Chibetwana ni bobo. Tonk na bung sha nunyang. Tonk batoga smaktelia. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu aita hodonga. Tulpata bonk molya gando danago chuchut. Moga shampungpa, bolawan na chikni. Bamul ne slik mo poda na wanga kun beast muli ra best. Kuya mi juz kachita, naipatoga ya fulki, kukula chichi. 
kawana bota a ayut tagwa kang kiedora ti kun watati mana itabola. Uy, itanadana yitya kun ti chani tong bato kas magtelia. Kuya mi Diyos kachita na ipatoga ya fulki kukula jiji. Kawana bota a ayut tagwa. Kang kiedora ti kun watati mana itabola. Mucha shak pangpa. Inking kun no ba muri rachi kun. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? What a wama mulira, king kun jope shak. No ba mulira ji. Johnny yun turung chi, we eat a dear. Bola una chinek. Ba mulira slimo anga kun bis king. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tony Pudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sercha! It's you a penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should, um. Hmm. You, Jedi! You're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or oh, force lightning, yes. It's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. We didn't do anything. Please, help us. Silence. It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which is prove themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mewlings, so please decide for me. Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? I suppose not, but you're as boring as they are. Fine, fine, go on, all of you. Hopefully you've learned something here. Chan <laughs> Kimba muli rab wana ji, kimba no ku nixet abog chi wi aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune chuna muli ra, tangi mama ji ko na. Tong ki pa no ku nek abog ka kin cha na wa baga on. Bagwa shang konti ma chit um. Diska do soki, kopa bono na kachu, labora na winki smak toma. Kuyami Jusku Chitanai Uchua Penki Topa na Oto Bokasa Yubabato Kanchi Yatuka Ulan Chiwi Aita Ka Chong Chicha Agi Inko Tune Chunamuri Ra Tangi Wama Jikona 
tongki pa nong kunek abog pa ba hasan shan no ba muli rati lai kuka just kronki to pats nemo chi ita kanki chi wik kaki kakin cha na wabagaon bagwa shong konti machit um Don't go near that Sith place. They won't let you in. And Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. Led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi. And these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the Academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? Enough to crush this fool! Let's do it, Lasho! Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Oh, I see. Well, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? <laughs> it looks like this one's not afraid of you at all, Lasho. Are you going to let us be insulted? Oh, get over yourself already. I'm tired of this. Yeah, this one's got some backbone at least. Let's go. Fine. I'll deal with you later. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Yeah, I sure bet the Wookiees would hate to see you go. Well, certainly. Now they are doomed to remain savages forever. Or possibly become extinct. Very sad. Now then, was there something you needed? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. Well, why not? This is Sith space now, and the company has to survive regardless of who is in charge. The Republic, the Sith, eh, the economy has to keep going. Now, was there anything else? Certainly. There truly isn't much to tell, citizen. Dresh Day was established by the Sith, and we arrived to take advantage of some of the planet's mineral wealth. The only thing that's really unusual about Dresh Day, I suppose, is that the Sith built their academy on the east side of the colony. You don't find those just anywhere. A star map? We sell navigational components, if that's what you mean. Well, the Sith have some old ruins that interest them up on the surface of the planet. If this map of yours is there, however, they've said nothing about it. Not much. The Sith are a rather secretive lot, and they don't allow many into the Academy. I hear they claim that Korriban was inhabited long ago by other Sith. That would explain why this place is so creepy. This whole planet makes my head tails twitch. But no one really knows if that's true. The planet is certainly uninhabited outside of Dresh Day, and always has been. Only prospective students. We get many who come here each year hoping to get picked. Many are simply considered too weak, I'm afraid. I understand there is one main person amongst the Sith who decides which students are worthy. Euthura Ban, I believe her name is. Other than in the Academy itself, I'm sorry, I don't know. 
Zerka sends freighters to the surface every now and again to ferry artifacts to the core. The men are not allowed out of their ships, however, as only Sith are allowed on the surface. Beyond that, I really can't say. They... they call the site the Valley of the Dark Lords. Ancient Sith are buried in tombs there, along with many artifacts of old. Some of great power, apparently. I don't know anything else. Neither will you, I'm sure. Only the Sith students are allowed access to the site. There truly isn't much to tell, citizen. Dresh Day was established by the Sith, and we arrived to take advantage of some of the planet's mineral wealth. The only thing that's really unusual about Dresh Day, I suppose, is that the Sith built their academy on the east side of the colony. You don't find those just anywhere. Do come again. Are you new to Corriban? ตองปานโลคุนนอนเน็กชีวิตไอตากาจองจิจาคีมูลีราคุนกินกินบานโลคุนนิกโลตาชีวิตไอตากาจองจิจาอากีอินโกตุเนชุนามูลีราตองอี
Maso, Chino Morirani Dubo, Tonkin Ba, Loko Netsak. Topa na Oto Bokasa, Papa Ki Murira Kunkin. Changwaba Chino, Shangwi, Chama Ucha, Wish Uyong Kun. Chiwa at Aita Kang Ki Jiyo Kachaw Baso Chino Morira ni Dubo Tonkin Ba Loko Net Jis Kadosoki Kopa Bono Nakachu Labora na Winky Smack Toma Kuyami Jusku Chita Nai Uchu Tinko Inko Ka Tin Ba ni Cha Lora Kun Tung Abashun ni Chun Chi Ka Kin Cha Nawabagaon Chang Waba Chino Shang Wei Chama U Cha Wish U Yong Kun Tong Yi Tuan Mai Chi U Ba Baska Duara Chi Chok Pa Muska Kin Ba Ni Cha Lora Kun Ki Yu Ma Pat Ma Liao No Wish Ka Kin Cha Na Wa Ba Ka On Kun Mu Li Ra S Ni Mo Poi Wang Ga Tok Kin Ba No Kun Yek Sak Ting Ku Ing Ko Ka Ting ba ni cha lora kun Tung abashun ni chun chi Ka kin cha na wabaka on Chang waba chin yo Shang li cha ma u cha Wish u yong kun Tung yi tuan ma chi Ne ka ba du ba ka Patisa patisa Kon muli slimo po i wanga kun bis kin Chi ita kang ki Chang na kili kon Topa na oto mo kasa Pampa ki muli ra kung kin Chang waba chin yo Shang wi cha ma u cha Wish u yong kun Chao ba so Chino muli ra ni dubo Tong kin ba Loko net sak Chiwa er aita kang ki Chi yo kaku Uba baska duana chi chopa muska Ka kin cha na wabaka on Kin ba ni cha lora kun Tong hi tuwa ma aki inko tune O tong hi mwa ma ji aki inko tun Tong pa no kun no nek Chi wi aita ka chong chi cha Ki muli ra kun kin Kin ba no kun nik do cha Chao ba so Chi no muli ra ni dubo Tong kin ba no kun nek sa I'm trying to get into the Sith Academy. Around here they call us hopefuls. Well, that's the only way to become a Sith, isn't it? In the Academy you learn to use the Force. After the Sith conquer the galaxy, there aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. I thought they were good, but I've been here for days now and I haven't drawn any attention at all. I suppose that might be good, I don't know. Some of the attention the Sith have shown to other hopefuls has been pretty deadly. <sighs> I wish I knew to tell you the truth. You have to impress one of the Sith, I guess. Either way, it's Uthura Ban who makes the final decision. She's a Twi'lek Sith Master, I hear. Very high rank. She's the one who decides which hopefuls make it in and which ones don't. I really couldn't say. I hear that sometimes she comes out into the colony to drink at the cantina, though. But I guess she could be anywhere. After the Sith conquer the ga- All right. Goodbye. When one of the Sith thinks you're ready for the Academy, he gives you a medallion. I wish I had one of those. One of Korriban's primary trade routes went through Terrace. Now that it's destroyed... Tong itu apa ji? Human akun ikatune. Chi ita kangki chana kilikon. 
去我爱爱打空气，当时我嘛阿去一个队呢，我当时我嘛去阿去一个队，当把我困，我呢，只为爱打卡冲一下，去努力拉空气，今把我困一落下，你搞不都巴卡，巴蒂萨巴蒂萨，困努力斯尼莫波伊旺噶困比斯金。Chi ita kangki changa kiri kun, uba baska doana chi chupa muska, gimba ni chalora kun. Ki yuma batmali au no ish, ka kin cha na wabaka on, kun muli ras limo poi wanga tog gimba no kun neksak. Patoga yak fuli ko kala jiji, tingku inko ka tong hit wana ji sat kat agi inko tune, kuna muli ra tong kpa non kun nek abon. Kakin cha na wabaka on, bagwa shang konti machit um. Jiska dosoki, kopa bono nakachu, labora na winki smak toma, kuyami jusku chita nai, uchu apenki, topa na ota bokasa, yubabato kanchi, datuka ulan, tong hit wama ati inko tune, Potong hi mama ji aki ikotu Tong pa no kun no nek Chiwi aita ka chong chi cha Ki muli ra kun kin Kin ba no kun nik do cha Jiska do soki Ko pa bono nakachu Labora na winki smak toma Kuyami jusku chita nai Uchu apenki Topa na oto bokasa Yubabato kanchi, ya tuka ulan, chi wak e aita kan ki cha na jupor nipo. Kun muli ras nimo poi wanga, tan itu ama ji, yuman ak in inka tune. Ki muli ra kun kin. Patoga ya kuli ko kala ji ji, tingku in ko ka, tan hit wana ji sa... Ciao basso! Greetings, friend. Fellow pilot, are you? Wouldn't mind taking a spin in the Ebon Hawk myself. Sleek ship, that one. In a small colony like this, everyone knows everyone's business. It's better than thinking too much about all the Sith lurking about here. The Hawk's been in and out of here for ages. An out-of-the-way starport is a good place for, uh, privateers. Not saying you are one. Ah, oh, just a boring freighter. We've had some pretty steady work here, though, since the Sith started their excavations up on the surface. In case you're forgetting, partner, they don't exactly want us talking about their business. Ah, who cares about them? I've seen some of those things they're digging up in those ruins in the valley. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Weird artifacts. Looks like alien stuff. Maybe aliens lived on Korriban a long time ago. Who knows? Don't be stupid. I was talking to one of those Sith, and he said there are tombs there dating back to when the Sith were here in ancient times. There were Sith here in ancient times? Sounds like he was feeding you a line. Korriban's only been settled for a short time. So says you. He said the planet was settled by the Sith a long time ago. And then they all left to something. Those tombs are really important to them. Tombs, eh? That makes the stuff they send us even creepier. Wish I didn't have to haul it around. We used to haul everything to Terrace, and the Sith would take it off our hands there. Not sure where we'll be bringing it now. Nah, no, we're not due for another shipment for at least another week. It's in a valley on the surface, beyond some mountains to the east. No land route. That's why they have us fly in. Shows what you know. The Academy has a route through the mountain. That's how all their students get to the excavation site. Well, regardless, the Sith don't let anybody near that valley. Even when we land, they watch us like a Drebarian hawk and want us gone quickly. Not a chance. 
You'd be better off sneaking through the academy if you want to go to the valley. Ha! Now that'd be a sight to see. Sure thing. Good flying, friend. something specific you wanted and what if I am that is the whole point personally I think it's wonderful fun those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough I'll let them become a Sith idiots a Sith is not a banther all endurance and no brains a Sith would fight for his life no matter the odds if these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem then they deserve their fate Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. You should not toy with people's lives. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. You talk to Meckel? Have I proved my worth? Did he say anything? Oh, no. All this for nothing. Dave, leave me be. I won't listen to your manipulations. I, I will make it into the Academy. Just, just a few hours longer. Just a few hours, sure. Ban, who I believe is in the cantina. 
It is she who decides which hopefuls enter the Academy. I have been conditioned to resist mental persuasion, citizen. Please, do not attempt that again. No one gets inside, citizen. Messages and deliveries must be relayed through official Sith channels only. You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must be made by a Sith who has already been accepted here. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good, for I have little patience. You think me a fool? You think I do not recognize a lightsaber when I see it? You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. I am sure there are plenty of others who would answer your questions. I am quite busy, so if there's nothing else... I am. Obviously, you have been told of me. Is it your desire, then, to train at the Academy? Do you wish to become a Sith human? <laughs> An interesting question, and not one I hear often. For most, the benefits of becoming a Sith are quite obvious. We wield ultimate power, my friend. To be a Sith is to taste freedom and to know victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the Force to your will. We make no apologies for the weak. If you cannot clench your fist and know when the moment comes to strike, there is no place for you amongst us. Of those who come to train, those who are weak return home. If they are both weak and foolish, they die. But it was their choice to come. Hide-bound relics who burden themselves with tradition and with the protection of the weak and ungrateful. They are pitiful and misguided. Why would you take a gift as glorious as the Force and squander it? Weaken yourself deliberately and shackle yourself to outdated mores. Our gift has made us superior. It is our rightful place to rule. How can any deny that? Yet the Jedi do so, and call us evil because we do not. It is the Jedi who serve the Force, trying to discern its wishes like frightened old men staring at the stars. The Force serves us. We shape it to our will. We are its master. The Jedi deny their darkness, but we revel in it. We allow it to fuel our strength. Corruption is a word the pitiful use to describe the natural longing for power that they deny. Evil is a word trumpeted by the weak to ease their heart. It is true that the Force exacts a physical toll on some, but not a single one of them has ever regretted it. Anything else you hear is propaganda. You know the name. Malak is the strongest of us, and the strongest always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard, always lean for the kill. We promote it, for through this, the Sith are stronger. If a Sith is proven to be weak, and if the time is right, the Force rewards the cunning and the mighty. Step up to the challenge if you dare, or turn tail and run. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? No. Why might that be? There is something odd about you, human, that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Perhaps none. 
Perhaps all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? <laughs> you must not think much of Sith Masters to try that little trick. I won't hold it against you, however. It shows initiative. But I do desire a real answer to my question. Does it interest you? Ah, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? I... yes, yes. We are only servants to the... the Master. There's something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? Most impressive, if it is true. Those who were too weak to stand against you deserve their fate. So expect no retribution from us. There is much we can learn from the Sith, and we from you. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Your slaves? They are irrelevant. They may accompany you so long as they do not interfere with us or with your training. Are you ready or not, young one? <laughs> you are brave to argue, young one. I have met few students who would speak so openly to me. Ask yourself first what this morality is. How is it created? Who does it benefit? Where do your notions of good and evil come from? You may come to the realization that morality is but an obstacle to overcome, or not. The discovery is yours to make, should you be ready. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. 
If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? I have been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. Yes, it was. I find it difficult to speak of those things. I do not want to live that way ever again. And here? It seems different. It is... it is warming. I feel almost... welcome. Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. Yes, and that is my point. I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I am used to. Just thank you for accepting me. Ah, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Not really. Oh, don't worry. What I have in mind will benefit us both. You can be sure of that. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords, to the tomb of Nagasado, to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me, Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him, and would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master Uthar what you wish. Were I you, I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. I'm so glad you see it my way. 
I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that, if you like. Shall I go on? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. We know different. It is our passion, our hate, and our desire that fuels the Force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. What fuels your power with the Force but your passion? The stronger, darker emotions. Anger, hatred, fear. These passions empower us. Love is more dangerous than all those things. Love leads to anger and hatred more often than not. But it also leads to mercy, which is far worse. That, however, is a lesson for another time. The Force gives us all power, even the Jedi. It is our mastery of our passion that gives us the strength they lack. Negative? Compared to what? What keeps even the most rudimentary creature alive? Fear to run. Anger to fight. Without it, a creature would most surely die. We are far more than them, perhaps. But in some ways, we are little different. To think us creatures beyond the need of simple passions is a delusion. It is our goal to be stronger, to achieve our potential and not rest upon our laurels. We are the Seekers, not the Shepherds. How many sorts of victories can you imagine? Peaceful victory, victory by sacrifice, a truce, an achievement. Unless the victory is achieved by demonstrating that your power is superior, it is only an illusion, temporary at best. We seek more. This has been argued over, and often, the chains represent our restrictions, both those placed upon us and those we place upon ourselves. Ultimately, the goal of any Sith is to free herself from such restrictions. In a way, it is so we may do whatever we wish, but it is much more than that. One who has freed themselves from all restrictions has reached perfection, their potential fulfilled. Perfect strength, perfect power, perfect destiny. Imagine it. That is our ideal at any rate. It is said in Sith legend that the Sithari, the perfect being, will one day lead us. But perhaps that is just a legend. I wonder what that being would be like. The legends say the Sithari will destroy us and make us stronger than ever. But perhaps that is just a legend. Perfection is a goal, I think, rather than a state of being. The Jedi would argue that, no doubt. The Force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion, a weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. Strive for perfection, and the Force shall reward you. 
I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. About myself. I am originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Not unless you are accompanied by Master Uthar, no. It is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. None. I do not even know how Master Uthar gains entrance, to tell the truth. Though I look forward to discovering that fact. I have searched many times, so do not bother. There is no other way. Do not fret, however. Simply get the prestige you need and you will see the tomb soon enough. We could learn much about the history of the ancient Sith. Why they were on Korriban and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. With that knowledge could come great power. As you wish. You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. The Code of the Sith is the easiest way to start. I have told you all that you need to know of it already. There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban, no doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where, exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's order, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? I would suggest you talk to the other prospective Sith and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasho would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. I did. I also said that you didn't need to know more. Why are you asking? I see. Very well. I suppose there's no harm in the tale. As I said, I was originally a slave to one of the Huts. The Huts control everything on Sleheron, and a slave is nothing to them. I was determined not to be nothing. One night when the drunken worm had me alone in his chambers, I stabbed him and escaped the compound. I stole onto a cargo ship and was not discovered by the crew until they reached the next system. They left me for dead on a desolate planetoid, alone. But that was fine by me. I was glad to be anywhere other than Slaheron. It was not luck that I was eventually rescued, of course. The Force was strong with me, though I didn't know that at the time. Not until the Jedi told me, that is. I'd rather not discuss it. Perhaps another time. Is there something else you needed? I hope to see you again. Didn't work. What? Gotcha. Simple. What? No problem. Got it. No problem. 
Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Algwin. Of course. It's full of ancient Sith ruins from the time before the Sith left this region of space. Rather exciting, really. I've, uh, never studied it myself. Couldn't help you much. If you're really interested, there's a fellow by the name of Dak who's out in the valley now. He knows plenty about it. Uh, well, good luck with your training. Oh, hello again. I... oh, uh, nothing. Uh, yes, my master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't... you know... Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. Well, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I, I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now... I don't know. I just have so many doubts. But where would I go then? What would I do? Uh, I, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you so much. Greetings, student. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. That's right. You might as well just go home, you know. There can only be one Sith this year, and that's me. You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? Hmm. I guess there's no harm in it. Word has it that Master Uthar gives big points for Sith artifacts that are brought back from the Valley. The Valley of the Sith Lords. You know, where the Academy does all its excavating. If you really don't know, just go out the east exit and you'll see. You hanging around... You think I would tell you? There's nothing you know that I could possibly want. Thanks, anyhow. Woohoo! If it isn't the freak from the colony! Hello, freak! Shardan's the name. Don't forget it. You'll have me to thank when you get kicked out of here. And go into the dueling room? <laughs> I've got better things to do than give you a fair fight. You can count on seeing me later, though. My lightsaber has your name on it. You? I remember you from the colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. My name is Lasho. Remember it, for I'll be the one who earns the prestige to move on. You'll have to be satisfied with next year, I suppose. Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. Hmm, I suppose I could use some help. 
The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Forget it. I never liked you to... So run along and... You? Help me get it? I don't know. Flattery, is it? I suppose it's possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. We'd be ahead of the others, for sure. Unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense to you? Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll be amongst the central pillars near the north end. Because it probably contains secrets from the time when the Sith ruins on this planet first existed. You don't think that Master Uthar would find that impressive? A holocron, this holocron anyway, is an ancient recording device. It can store and display large amounts of information. And I'm just supposed to trust you? You're the one who has to work on this, remember? You watch me and I'll watch you. I don't trust you any more than you trust me. If you don't like that, don't come. Remember, the central pillar's in the valley. I'll be waiting, so don't take too long. Get out of my way! I don't have time to deal with hopefuls! Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. You wish to know more about me, do you? And why would I indulge your idle curiosity? Will we be good friends, you think? I strived many years to hone my power, until I was able to drive out my predecessor and rule the Academy. If you are smart, you will aim to do the same, or better. There is nothing else you need to know. Do not ask again, young one. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Through passion, I gain... Through strength, I gain... Through power, I gain... Through victory... The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false? It is our passion that fuels the Force. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Oh? It is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. <laughs>